one of the risks of hip replacement surgery is a condition known as deep venous thrombosis. So deep venous thrombosis is where um, blood within the veins of the lower limb, particularly around the calves, can clot. And um, we try to reduce the risk of clotting in the um, veins by a number of measures. Probably the most important measure that we use to reduce deep venous thrombosis after hip surgery is early mobility. So you'll notice that we've been quite keen to be able to get you up and about and mobilising really quickly after surgery. For most people that's on the day of intervention. And uh, that's a really important way of being able to get the muscles of the lower limb to be able to pump the blood and recirculate it so that it doesn't undergo clotting within the veins itself. Now the other measures that we use, you'll notice that you're using white stockings. They're called graduated compression devices or TED stockings. And they also help to reduce the risk of blood pooling within the calves. The third measure that we're going to use is what's called Xeralto tablets. So Xeralto tablets are a blood thinner. If you're already on a blood thinner, we may just continue using your blood thinner that you're currently on, or alternatively, we may modify the dose or use two blood thinners in combination. For most people though, we'll be using just Xeralto. So Xeralto tablets are once per day. They're usually taken in the afternoon. You'll start them shortly after surgery. You need to continue the Xeralto tablets for 30 days. So you'll be discharged with the remainder of the prescription that you'll take yourself at home. Xeralto tablets are very safe. One of the downsides of Xeralto is it does increase the risk of bleeding into the wound slightly. So if you get any bleeding of the wound, or alternatively, if the wound becomes um, quite puffy and sore um, and quite bruised quite quickly, um, then please let us know and we might need to modify the dose or alternatively eliminate the use of Xeralto tablets for you.